what's up, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to Life in Quarantine. Um, I've done these, these live streams before, over the holidays usually, and they're a lot of fun. I appreciate it. I really do. I always get a lot out of it, but it seems just more important nowadays, you know, more pressing. Now that we're all actually truly apart from each other, not allowed to see each other. But I'm very grateful because we have this technology, this amazing technology, the internet, all these, these um, applications we can use. It really does keep us together. What's up, Ryan? Hey, Janelle. Hey, Matthew. Hi, Jan. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Mark. Thanks for joining. It's kind of uh, the first Friday here in April. I was supposed to be in New York City tonight playing a show at Soho, in Soho at the, uh, the Soho Theater. Soho Playhouse, actually, is what it's called. But um, here I am. I'm in my garage and i um, very grateful to be here. I'm grateful for you guys to be here. Hey, what's up everybody from Brazil? How you doing? You know, we love you. All right, we're all doing time, right? Let's get going. What's up? What's up? I heard Jared Scott's in the uh, in the audience. What's up, Jared? Uh, what's up, Quebec? What's up, Seattle? What's up, Costa Rica? It's been a little while. We miss you. Oh man! Um, last time I was in Costa Rica, we we played a set, and the show went late. And we were we were going on, and I was like, man, we really, we really got to cut this short this set down because we're gonna miss our flights. And we tried to cut our set down a little bit, but we still ended up playing too long because I just can't quit. And sure enough, we get to the airport, 
everything's just buttoned up. We missed our flight. So we had to buy all new flights, which didn't leave for hours and hours and hours and hours. And um, it was a good time. <laughs> but, but you know what? I had some of the best food I've ever had in Costa Rica. It was amazing. It really was. So I'm going to say it was worth it. I want to say a shout out to my mom. I haven't seen her in a little bit. We've talked on the phone a little bit. Um, obviously, I'm in Texas. She's in Bremerton. I don't know if that's obvious, but even if I was in Bremerton, I don't know if I'd be able to see her. You know, she's she's in that age group. We can't can't be commingling our germs. You know what I'm saying? So I've quarantined myself down here in Texas. You know, I think. Dogs have it best when it comes to this whole quarantine situation because people aren't working, they're not going to school, and they're hanging out with their dogs way more than normal. So my dog has been, I've got two dogs, but my dog, Hank, he's been so into this because he's gotten walks regularly again. And now he's so spoiled because he's already used to the routine of getting walks, getting extra like eggs or something like that. Like he's just like a little brat, you know? Uh, I love him too much, but. Um, <laughs> but we are, we're trying to kind of keep, keep on some, some of the routines that we were doing before we were in lockdown. And of course that changes because some of our routines were like going to this place or going to the farm or going out here. We haven't been able to do that, but we are um, having great movie days and uh, my wife and I have been watching, well, a little bit of Joe Exotic, I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, yeah, and I heard, unfortunately, spoiler alert, this isn't in the series, Joe Exotic, he's got COVID. He got the COVID. So, <laughs> I don't, I'm not laughing, it's just like, I haven't finished the series, so if you haven't seen it, I don't know if I even recommend it, to be honest. I, I don't even know what I think about it. I guess what I'm trying to say is things are a little different around here, but at the same time, they're not that different. Uh, we're really trying to just keep working and um, keep it rolling through. You know, MXPX, uh, they're all in Bremerton. They're safe, but we're apart from each other right now. So, got that, that situation. Someday, we'll get back together again. I don't want to let my life fly by. Do you ever stop? Stop to wonder why? And time flies by when everything is okay. It just turns out that life ain't that way. Big decisions overwhelm me and I know nothing's free. But I don't think of, think about much. People die and we don't know why. I give you some understanding. Human contact, sign that contract. Why well, don't want to let my love fly by? Did you ever stop to wonder why? Ever stop to wonder, wonder why? Yeah. And time stands still and no one understands you. You don't quite understand yourself. Just know that said, got it faithful. You need to get so happy with yourself. Nothing quite like being sure of what's inside your heart. Mostly simple, but not so easy to know just where to start. Start, yeah. Why well, don't want to let my life fly by? Did you ever stop to wonder why? Ever stop to wonder, wonder why?
Hear me out there. Can you hear me from a mile away? Without a window to see through, I did my time in here without you. Slept on the floor down in LBC. Back home under the marking. Hey! Seemed like misery loves misery. My favorite songs, they keep me company. So many memories come down to this Well, I may be lost, but I'm not hopeless I heard that sound my way I heard that sound my way All those things I wish that I could say I heard that sound Static off the TV. Well, this kind of thing never goes easy. Well, I meant to tell you, but you were gone. I tried to get it right, I got it all wrong. I heard that sound, my way. I heard that sound. Said I could say, I heard that sound a mile away, a mile away. Side outside the show. Sound my way. 
right, you guys, what's up, what's up? So it's been quite a challenge changing up our day-to-day -day within MXPX and the whole team and changing what people are doing, like the jobs that they do. Normally, a lot of it's out on the road and all that. So um, it really has been a, a big challenge, a huge challenge, but as soon as this happened, everybody went to work on thinking about what we can do and, and doing it. So we're trying to put our team members to work um, the best we can so they have money to pay bills and you know we're, we're doing trying to do our part um, I know y'all are too um, have you guys been doing the MXPX challenge every day you probably don't know about it I have a podcast um, called the Mike Herrera podcast and on the podcast I mentioned if there's one thing you could do for us one amazing thing you could do for us that would be play our self-titled record on streaming any kind of streaming you have once a day uh, make it a habit, a routine, Plans Within Plans, uh, the self-titled album, anything like that, any of the covers that we released last year, San Dimas, Franco, Salt Lake City, all of those we own. And so um, play those things for us and uh, that'll help us out a lot actually. So. Pretty, pretty happy about, you know, just getting projects going. Um, there's, uh, there's a lot to be thankful for. Like I was saying earlier, technology, we have this. We can, we can make this happen. We can make some music. But, um, you know, I want to encourage musicians out there just to get creative. Get creative with whatever you're doing and, and make it happen. Um, all right. I'm going to play a song that goes, goes a ways back. Hmm. Ah. You know, one of the, back when I was young, one of the biggest problems we had was finding our next show. I wrote a song about it. <laughs> it's silly that we're here now worrying about finding our next show. But, um, you know, this show, this, this, this is the show right here. You know, we, we're, we're moving on and, and we're going to do this thing. So this song is called Where Will We Go? I get requests for this all the time, all the time. So, so here you go. time long ago the only worries that we had was getting our next show where will we go and sober what will we do and worth it where will we go and sober what will we do and worth it I'm gonna settle down in my small town and start to fade away The only memories that I'll ever taste just like today 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 Thank you. Thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. I'm so happy to be here doing this show. Um, <laughs> you know, it's it's not the same kind of show, but it's... I almost think it's more important. It really is more important to do these. So thank you. This is off our Plans Within Plans album. If you push yourself 
yourself away from everyone you know How do you expect relationships to grow When you feel like a character inside a book That ends in a disaster No happy ever after No, no Just deal with cards when you play your hands, put on your poker faces. Cause life just don't do faces. You may have to bluff sometimes. You may have to bluff sometimes. Minds can't figure out the cause of our incurable unhappiness and all our flaws. Our mess has reached past critical to obvious. I beg you, I beseech you, but I can't seem to reach you. No, no. Just do. Why you just don't do this? You may have to bluff sometimes. You may have to bluff sometimes. Life just don't erase it. You may have to bluff sometimes. 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 Speaking of Plans Within Plans, by the way, eight years ago today, we released Plans Within Plans. Bravo for us, I guess. <laughs> uh, very cool. So, um, yay, what's up? You guys all celebrating? Are you guys drinking? You don't have to be drinking. You can be drinking water. This is water. I swear to you, this is water. I've really been trying to change some habits and one of those is not just grabbing a new bottle of water a plastic bottle of water so no i'm not trying to get all hippie but i am trying to conserve a little bit seems like the the smart thing to do so by the way i was talking about if you wanted to know how to help mxpx during these crazy times of course mxpx.com but uh <laughs> you know uh we got something cool we, we have pre-orders in the store right now at mxpx.com right now. We released posters for life in quarantine. Yes, everybody was wanting posters. Of course we're gonna do posters. This is like the new shows, you know? So uh, <laughs> we did posters for life in quarantine and we have two t-shirts that we released into the store tonight. So go to mxpx.com either right now while you're watching. Um, let me know what you think. Um, and if that's not enough, whoa. I'm releasing a vinyl live album on vinyl and pre-orders are up right now. If you want to buy it, you can go pre-order it. 
Um, it's live in Texas. It's called Moments Like These Texas, and it's from late 2019 when I did my Texas shows. Yes, so I'm really, really excited about it. And uh, it'll be available this Tuesday, everywhere streaming. So if you don't have a record player, you don't, you don't want to buy anything right now, totally get it. Tuesday. Actually, Monday night, midnight Tuesday. So, you know, it always comes out that Monday night. So check it out. It's going to be just, you know, a lot going on. So if you guys want to pre-order that. By the way, we would never try to just have you guys spend your money. So if you don't or can't afford it, please don't, don't spend any money on us. Do your thing. Take care of your family. Take care of your people. Um, but if you do want to pre-order the vinyl... I'm not gonna lie, we already ordered vinyl. We already have everything going. It's just we don't have the vinyl yet. So once we get the vinyl, we'll send it out to you when you buy it. So I appreciate that. Yeah. I don't think I need a capo for this one. So like I said, if you can't order merch, totally cool. Um, just streaming our, our albums, like I said. Streaming our albums, but the ones we own make really the only difference. The only thing we really get paid good money on is self-titled album, Panic, um, all the covers we did last year, San Dimas, um, Franco One American, we did Salt Lake City, um, anything like that. Anything in my record catalog, Mike Herrera, if you go and stream my songs, that's cool too. I own all, all the rights to those. Um, <laughs> And it's funny, let me, let me, I'm not gonna talk this much normally, but let me just finish with this and I'll get into the next song. Um, Spotify, so for Spotify users, if you listen to Spotify, you may notice that Spotify seems to think that Kids in America is our most popular song. Well, it's not, it's not our most popular song, it's just in their algorithm, so it just shows up first. So let me do you a challenge and one more challenge. If you hear Kids in America or 500 Miles, Skip that song and go listen to Let's Ride and get Spotify to change their, their algorithm. I think we can do it if we all do that. Every time you, you turn up Spotify and it starts with Kids in America, play Let's Ride instead. All right, that's all I wanted to say about that. It's crazy, but the thing is, is we will benefit from that instead of Universal Music Group. So I appreciate that. Now that's my little OCD thing for the night. All right, here's one from the, uh, the new live Texas album that will be out this Tuesday. Mm. And thank you so much for anybody that is <clears throat> pre-ordering. All right, you might recognize this one, especially if you live here in Texas. This one's called Son of a Gun. These faded jeans have seen some better days Hunter the sun Burning a blaze The bright day we met In spring of one Try to pull your heartstrings Like I was pulling a gun Cause my days in ember days are done. My daddy was a pistol and I'm just a son of a gun. Save me some land there as I'm on my way where there's no heartache, a simple place to stay. My days in Amber My days are done My daddy was a pistol And I'm just a son of a gun It's not so bad Because I ain't alone It's been a long road home Tall grass grows and I'll pull you close 
Meet me where the tall grass grows and you'll know That my days are numbered My days are done My daddy was a pistol and I'm just a son of a gun My daddy was a pistol and I'm just a son of a gun Daddy was a pistol and I'm just a son of a gun Hey Logan, what's up? Shout out! Hope you guys are doing well. Alright. So I was talking about routines earlier. One of the routines trying to not let go is, is just keeping, keeping the place kind of tidy. And I mean, <laughs> you know, if my wife is watching this, she's going to laugh her ass off because she's going to be like, what? Who's keeping the place tidy? She is. But um, I'm trying to do dishes. I'm trying to do like some dishes now and again and like help out around the house and, you know. I'm, I'm not failing at that. I, I wouldn't say I'm succeeding at that, but I've been very busy with, you know, these live streams and such, right? Mm. All right, never mind. Let me just get to this song. <laughs> this one's called My Mom Still Cleans My Room. Not always mean The room has never been St. Clean The way I feel is not always Not always how I see Thoughts that form inside my brain And always seem to entertain Cause when I tell my company I think there's something wrong with me Time to get to everything Hold on tight and try to ride Life is short so left that wisely Not always sick but often tired Not always having fun or wired Don't have someone, someone to call my own I'm not full of all the answers I guess that I'm an okay dancer I just wanted to be left alone Got time to get to everything. Hold on tight, enjoy the ride. Life is short, so laugh at wisely. Live it wisely. All right, thank you, thank you so much. So those asking about the Tooth and Nail records and does Universal own those? Yes, Universal owns everything. Tooth and Nail doesn't own any of our records anymore. They sold them all to Universal for a lot of money, I'm sure, I, I don't know. We, let's not get into that, but we own, the ones I told you, uh, self-titled, 
uh, Plans Within Plans, all the covers we released last year. That's a... Uh, uh, yeah, so I mean, all of that stuff, Any anything that I released under my name, Mike Herrera, so Lights Out, um, there's a bunch. I just released Superman, uh, maybe I'll play that later, we'll see. But um, yeah, so. Somebody wanted to know, is the Mike Herrera Moments Like These Texas album gonna be available digitally to download? Yes, Tuesday. This Tuesday, you can get that record if you want the vinyl. It's a 10 inch vinyl, by the way. Did I mention that? It's a 10 inch vinyl, so it's very, it's like two inches smaller than a regular record. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, is it beer o'clock? I think it's beer o'clock. I had these shipped from Washington to Texas. I've been giving them out to mainly my friends and brother-in-law and things like that, but um, I figured it's a special occasion doing this live stream, life in quarantine. Here's to the best life. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah. I prefer, I prefer a glass. Although if you're outside, we go can, because bugs get in your glass very, 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 very easily. Mm. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, so. I'm uh, real happy with how the, the live album came out. I think you guys are gonna really dig it. If you like what I'm doing here, you're gonna really like the live record because it's, it's similar except you don't have to hear me blab, blab, blab. Thanks for joining, by the way. If you came in a little late, welcome. Thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna be doing live streams every Friday in April. So um, set your alarm, set your calendar, make sure you know what's up and come on and join us. It's gonna be good. And I will take your requests and all that. All right, here we go.
just came by and we're downtown Please don't leave, please come on in Make yourself at home I know you'll probably disappear alone All right, cool. Uh, so somebody's asking about Arthur. Will the Arthur songs go up? Can they go up? Let me think. Can we put Arthur up? Now I broke, the reason I broke Arthur up was so I wouldn't have to play Arthur songs. <laughs> kind of kidding. But um, yes, yes. I don't know why we haven't done that yet. Uh, mainly just because we've been so busy doing other things. I think it just... It's like another thing. You're like, yeah, I'll get to the trash later, Ma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll wash the dishes later. But yes, we will get that up maybe sometime this month. So uh, we'll put it up if you guys promise to listen to it because that would be another thing that would actually kind of help us, I guess. So, all right. Um, speaking of helping us, this next song I want to play for you. This song really recharged the band, recharged our audience. It it reinvigorated us to a point where I don't I don't know if we could have if we could be doing what we're doing right now without this song. This song, when this song came out with this video, it turned everybody's heads back and got and went, MXPX? Wow. So um it's been huge for us. I can't thank you all enough for for loving this song. This song is is uh it's my favorite song. It's my favorite song I've written, you know, and and, and I'm going to write more of these favorite songs, you know. <laughs> this one's called Let's Ride. to 
Thank you. What's up? Mm. You guys good? I think I'm good. Sorry, this is the worst. I hate, I hate tuning. I hate tuning, but it, it is better that it is checking. All right, we're good. Somebody was asking about two broke girls. Um, yeah, so. We actually found out recently that um, Whitney Cummings, she's Cummings, she's a, um, she's a comedian, and she's the writer, creator of that show, or something like that, I'm not exactly sure, but she is a fan of MXPX, and so that's why all those posters are on the walls in that TV show, Two Broke Girls. So, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Whitney. That's amazing. Uh, first time I heard about that, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. That is really cool. But no one has ever reached out to us Ever, which is almost better, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, what's better or not. But uh, thank you, Whitney. Appreciate it. Come do my podcast. I know you have your own podcast, but come do mine. Let's do this. All right. This song's off Panic. Drawing closer end of days March to the left on time Even as I turn this phrase The end has now begun History, history Tomorrow never comes Today's the only day we have And now that day is done We fall the world to end the signs devastation right on time we fall the world to win ignoring what's been said why new rivers running red we talked to what he could but we've lost too much blood Staring eyes that love surprises Silence before sunrise When you pay the highest prices Too late to open your eyes History is history Tomorrow never comes Today's the only day we have And now that day is done Right on time We fought the world to win Ignoring what's been said Find new rivers running red We talked in what he could But we've lost too much blood Thank you. <laughs> so something really cool happened um, yesterday, in fact, yesterday. Yeah. Um, so I play Ernie Balls, Ernie Ball Music Band Stingray basses, bass guitars. I've played these for many, many years, decades, really, decades. And um, the first time I ever saw one, I knew I wanted to own one. And my first bass was not an Ernie Ball Stingray it was not a music man, it was something else that cost me 175 bucks. And it really didn't cost me that much because my mom paid for half of it. I mowed a bunch of lawns and she said, 
All right, Michael. If you put down half, I'll put down half and you can buy yourself a bass guitar. And I did. And I had, I had that bass and I played on it and I learned on that thing. But when I saw that Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray that somebody else was playing at a show, it was actually an all show. I went to an all show. And the guitar player, actually, Stefan Edgerton, <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. So anyway, I knew I wanted that bass. I put it on layaway at American Music in Tacoma, Washington. And I saved my pennies. I saved my pennies for a whole half a year and I finally saved up enough. And at the time MXPX was, was, it was probably 1993 or 94. We were doing pretty well in our local scene in Seattle, in Bremerton, Washington, in Silverdale, Washington. And I remember I went and picked up that bass and I, I, I didn't even take it home. I went straight to the Silverdale Community Center, whatever it was called at, at the time. And we were playing, we were headlining that night, and I walked in with the bass, and I was just beaming. And um, I start, and it's totally out of tune. I forgot to tune it. <laughs> Duh. So anyway, I thought maybe if you buy a bass new, it's in tune. Well, yeah, maybe a little bit, but you gotta tune it with your other guys. So long story short, yesterday, Music Man, which is Ernie Ball, Music Man, released a Mike Herrera artist series bass guitar. Yes, and it's been a long time coming and I'm so proud of, of it and I'm so happy. So thank you, Ernie Ball, thank you, Music Man. And I wanna shout out to Stefan Edgerton because he also has a custom artist series guitar uh, that he released yesterday. So we're, uh, we've always been good friends, but now we're even that much tighter. All right, so a piece of crazy cool news in the midst of all this insanity that is uh, 2020 and the COVID-19 world pandemic. Mm. It sounds like a, some sort of festival. The COVID-19 2020 world pandemic. <laughs> all right, you guys, you guys have been great. I'm gonna, I got a couple more songs for you, for sure. So uh, real quick, just, just to put a button on the bass, um, that's all going through their website. And I, I, I did share some stuff about it and I will, I'll, I'll keep putting out some info about it. But um, it's exactly like my bass. It's exactly like the bass that I played. In fact, the, the custom bass that you would buy is the same basses that I played on our last two shows, Denver, and San Antonio, that was my custom bass. I just didn't say anything because it was a secret, you know, but they sent me, um, they sent me, you know, this is the bass that we're gonna make people. So it's exactly like my bass. I'm like, this is perfect. It is absolutely, everything about it is perfect. So really, really happy with how it came out. All right. Um, this is also on the new release. It's coming out Tuesday that you can pre-order the 10-inch vinyl right now if you want. But uh, it's called The Capital. Side, and everything seems wrong I've been with you all along The neglect is all you really know But nowhere's where you wanna go When they treat you like you don't belong I've been with you all along Cause I'm the heart, the soul, the mind The capital of every kind Those that seek will surely Always running out, weathering us 
storm of doubt when the narrow path is long. Wiping with you all along when your heart is bent tight down. Thrown into the sea to drown when the love you knew is gone. I've been with you all along Every step of the way Every passing day Every step of the way Every passing day Cause I'm the heart, the soul, the mind The capital of every kind Those it seek will surely find those that don't are surely blind Those that seek will surely find Hey, what's up, you guys? You guys hanging in there? You guys feeling good? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up, what's up? My name's Mike Herrera, in case you didn't know, but um, you might have known that. Mm. Maybe it's been a minute. I don't know. I don't ever want to assume. So, yes, I, I play bass guitar for MXPX, my band. I sing. I play guitar, guitar, just for myself and for you guys. Um... I also play bass guitar for Goldfinger, which is always a good time. I never never saw myself playing in a ska band. I will admit that. Um, I feel pretty good about it now, like, but at the time I was like, this is kind of weird. Like, <laughs> like playing ska all the time. And it's ska punk, but but really, I love it. And, and it's funny because we were just in Montreal not too long ago. And a lot of times I'll have, I'll have Brent, if Brent's there, I'll have him, uh, record us and or if I'm so I don't know if it was Montreal or if it was back to the beach it was one of those shows but basically Feldy John the singer of Goldfinger he was playing and when sometimes he'll just throw his guitar to the right side of the stage stage right because that's where our stage tech is usually standing well this show our stage tech was on the left side that's right so what does he do he sees somebody over there so he just throws the guitar but it's Brent filming with my phone he's like he doesn't know what to do he barely catches it and still manages to hold on to my phone and not drop it that's that's professional that's super insane and thank you Brent but um I guess the reason why I tell that story is Goldfinger's always uh always a good time there's always unexpected things happening and and really I enjoy doing that so <laughs> Speaking of unexpected things, I bet I bet most people didn't expect me to come out with this. This is a song called Superman, and I just released this actually um, a couple days ago. Actually, I mean it's it's out everywhere. So if you want to listen to it, and of course, if you haven't seen here in your bedroom, Goldfinger just released a video of us all playing in our you know quarantine areas, um, and then we put it all together. It's super fun. If you haven't heard it, go check it out here in your bedroom. But uh, yeah, so this song, this song I always, I, I, I never quite knew this song as good as I should have. I just really didn't wrap my brain around it, you know? And then of course, once I started playing in the band, I was like, okay, okay, I kind of get it. I didn't get it, because the bass line and the guitar, it's totally, completely different. So now that I've learned it on guitar, it makes a little more sense to me. That being said, I completely changed it from the original, so, so here we are. Here 
trying to keep the ground on my feet. Seems the world falling down around me. The nights are all long, singing this song to try to make the answers more than maybe. And I'm so Trying to sleep, lost count of sheep. My mind is racing faster every minute. What could it be more? Yeah, I'm really not sure. I know I'm running circles, but I can't quit. And I'm so confused about what. Telling me I have to change Telling me to act my age But if all that I can do is to Sit and watch the time go by Then I'll have to say goodbye Life's too short to watch it fly So here I am Growing older all the time Looking old Pretending I'm a superman All right, hey, thank you. All right, let me answer a few questions. Um, People want to know where can they buy digitally to help. Um, iTunes Store, you can get digital and just stream it. Um, and I think Google, you can download stuff from Google. Mm. And then as far as like people being confused about ownership, I do own my songs, yes. It's confusing. I own the songs, but the master recordings, yeah. Those are the ones that are used on streaming and downloads and the ones you listen to, those, it's two parts. Like I own the song, like I wrote it, but they own the recording, they own the master, all that. So yeah, that's, that's, that's the difference. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so those songs, we have to get permission to do things and, and all that. But if it's something from the self-titled record or something from Plans Within Plans or anything I release these days, anything I release solo-wise, I don't have to ask permission because I own 100% of it. Um, so that's the difference between like having your own record label where you own all of it, or if you're on another record label, then they own kind of half of it kind of thing. That's it's probably not exactly correct, but it maybe makes a little bit of sense that way. Um, okay. Um, I'm definitely lucky that I own as much as I do because a lot of people... A lot of my colleagues and friends that, that have grown up in the business with me, they've been on record label after record label after record label, and they don't own anything. They, you know, they might own their songs like I do, but they don't own the rights to the masters. And that's, that's, where, the, that's where you get paid, really. So that's why record labels uh, make a lot of money. Um, so requests. I can't get to all the requests tonight, of course, but I will write them down and you know, I'll practice and get to a bunch. So we're gonna be, I'll be back next week, same time. We'll make it happen. All right. Um, this one, uh, yeah, this is, this is one that I thought my mom really liked, but she said, no, she's, <laughs> this isn't her favorite song. <laughs> 
<laughs> so funny. My parents are doing well, by the way. My mom still runs the uh, mxpeaks.com merch store and um, they're self quarantining and they're, they're keeping on lockdown. And my dad has a mask that he wears out when he has to go to the grocery store or something like that. Um, but they're pretty much staying home and then they're walking dogs, walking dogs, that's it. You know, stay far away. It's funny because um, a few weeks ago before, it's like three weeks ago when we weren't in lockdown, I just got back from the tour, uh, the shows, and I saw my neighbor and I was like, hey, what's up neighbor? And he's like, hey, come over for a beer. And I was like, I don't know if I should. And I'm, 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 I know that there's a self distancing thing happening. And I'm like, all right, I will. And I'm like, okay, I'll go over. I'll just be six feet away at all times. So I, I went over, I brought a couple beers, handed it, put one down. He's like, oh yeah, I have one. So I put it down or I put it in the in his little fridge and I'm just in his backyard. I sit six feet away from him. He's sitting, he's a Mexican, older Mexican gentleman. And uh, you know, we're just talking about like his work schedule, his boss is greedy, he doesn't want to shut down the shop or anything. He does um, guard, car detailing. And, and anyway, the whole time I'm just like, I wonder if he is taking this as serious as I am. And then I noticed when he went and got another beer, he got one of his own beers. He didn't take mine that I had given him. And so I drank my first beer and I was like, well, I guess I'll just drink my other beer. So we were already self distancing like three or four weeks ago. And uh, I haven't seen him since. I mean, I've seen him in passing, but <laughs> we're all staying and steering clear. Um, and I hope you guys are doing the same. All right. I know it's a crazy time, and I, but that's what you gotta do, right? I just encourage you to use this time to think about what you want different in your life and uh, start building, start working on it. Um, you know, that's what I do. That's what I'm doing right now. I mean, we're, we're trying to fix all our, our systems. So, all right, here we go. Waking up is hard to do when no one loves you. Please pass by that something you have got in you. Some of us are dumb and blind and out of our minds Walking past each deep through fields of landmines Let the wind say why I'm strong Let yourself say why I was wrong Down your wine, the foolish things away. Don't forget, prepare you set be true to your home way. Let the wind say, Why I am strong? Let yourself say, I was wrong. Let your From day to day Staring at a stranger's face As you find yourself to your dismay Looking into your own face Let the wind say Yeah, 
So I hope you guys are really using this time to chill out, spend time with your family, with your, not your friends, obviously. <laughs> Hopefully you have a family or if you live alone, spend time doing something for you. Definitely do that. I encourage you. Um, yeah. I, you know, I think about my life all the time and then, and then I don't want to think about it anymore, of course, but um, it is important to do for sure. It's important and, you know, Take, taking time not only to figure out where you want to be when this is all over, but how and what you need to do right now or soon um, to make that happen. And, and I don't mean overwork yourself and tire yourself out. I, I mean do something meaningful, like chill and do something that you want to do. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm not great at pep talks. My whole team tells me all the time. <laughs> like, you're right, I'm not. Mm. But I can sing, so I'm going to sing you this song. I'm going to do two more for you. <clears throat> These are what's on when so many blue skies turn gray. At the end of the night, we are ready for work the next day. Don't you ever lose heart, keep the fire burning in place. And don't call me crazy, it's just the way I was raised. It's moments like this that I'm gonna miss when I'm dead and gone and I can't kiss my kids. Will they look up to the sky and think about me? These are the ways I've been spending my days Thinking with thoughts and of things that amaze Me and my life and the way I've been able to live it so free It's moments like this That are priceless to me I heard the screen door as it slammed all the hours of the day It's so hot outside I don't move, I'm just melting in place Possessions are lost and gone without so much as a trace And time keeps on ticking, each second replaced I can't imagine it now Didn't want to think of it then Thought I resisted somehow But I was wrong again We all hide from truth The truth is we'll fade Cause we are all beautiful Yet deathly afraid Moments like this that I'm gonna miss when I'm dead and gone and I can't kiss my kids. Will they look up to the sky and think about me? These are the ways I've been spending my days, thinking with thoughts and of things that amaze me and my life and the way I've been able to live it so free. It's moments like this All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Quick reminder, we released posters for Life in Quarantine. We released two shirts for Life in Quarantine. You can check them out on mxpx.com. I'm gonna be back every Friday here in April, and we'll see how it goes after that, but um, I'm committing to you every Friday in April. Um, what happened? I mean, I don't wanna say what I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna leave it at that. So I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for coming out. I'm gonna do one more song for you guys, and then uh, I'll see you next Friday. All right. The 
burst of faith You can make it grow You gotta believe Set you free. Don't lay down and lie shut down the fallacies. Roll all of your fears into the sea. You are your own secret weapon. Up your voice and say, the kids is the best. There's nothing will last. Embrace what tomorrow brings. Your kids is the best. Thank you so much, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I want to thank all the uh, first responders, hospital healthcare workers, delivery drivers, grocery store clerks, and stalkers, anybody that's out there supplying the demand. That's a hard job. It's a hard job anyway, but and it sucks anyway. So thank you so much from all of us that are kind of just in our houses waiting, doing our thing. Um, going to the grocery store once every three weeks or whatever it is, you know, <laughs> it's, we thank you. Um, if you, if you miss some of this live stream, we're going to be post, it's posted on Facebook. So just stay on Facebook and you can rewind and, and watch the beginning. Um, I will see you next Friday. Thank you so much. And remember, if you hear kids in America or 500 miles, skip it, go to let's ride. Okay. Listen to let's ride over and over. You don't even have to listen to it. Turn the volume down, but play it, you know, just blast it, blast it for your neighbors or something. Anyway, thank you so much. It's been, it's been a blast. So, uh, we're going to do this. We're going to keep going. Thanks for keeping the positivity alive. This group of people, uh, I love how everybody comes together for these live streams. It's not really even about me. It's about you. It's about you and you all coming together and seeing each other here online. So, uh, with that being said, it's a date next Friday. I'll see you. All right. Cheers.